Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Space Weather News update Tuesday, March 29th at around 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. The models are in. Over the last 36 hours, we've had some significant activity off the sun over around seven M flares, starting with an M 4.0 followed by an M 2.0, both of these coronal mass ejections associated with it. And these are halo eruptions. There's one, two. And here we can see the same halos, one, two, both coming at us. And here we're looking at the NASA model, the ISWA Signet streamer. And they, but they have both of these CMEs coupled together coming out and they're making significant impact on Earth tomorrow night, the 30th into the 31st. We'll come over here to the NOAA product, which is the Enlil spiral. And you can see here, uh, we'll blow this up for you. You can see how the coronal mass ejections actually couple together here on the Enlil spiral. So wait for it. You're going to see the M4.0 come out, then the M2, here's the 4.0, then the 2.0 right behind it, which was a little faster, and they're going to couple together for a double whammy. Again, impacting Earth tomorrow night into Thursday morning. An M4.0 and an M2.0 merging, according to the WSA Enlil Spiral. Now, what should we expect from this? Well, it's certainly not the end of the world which is good news. But it will be a good test of our magnetosphere. And the geomagnetic forecast is for KP6. We we're going to say it could go as high as KP7. And here's the three-day geomagnetic and auroral forecast, which was just updated by NOAA. And they're saying that after March 30th into the 31st, UTC, uh, it's going to kick off the storm here, KP6, and drop down to KP5. Now, there is impacts of space weather on human health. We've been warning about it for half a decade on this channel. And this paper discusses the impact of space weather on human health. So if that interests you, read the paper. But the basic conclusion is simple. Due to the overwhelming amount of and qual quality of various studies conducted over a period of 50 years, they show significant impacts on space weather and human health. And there is, in fact, a chart that has been compiled with the geomagnetic score. Now, this is a geomagnetic storm we're talking about, which would be KP6 or higher, very dangerous in KP8 and 9. This is when John Casey had a stroke up in a KP8 event. Now, for geomagnetic storm risks, we have heart rate fluctuations, heart attacks and strokes of all kinds, acute coronary syndrome, blood pressure increase, seizure, migraine risk, anxiety, stress, emotional instability, cognitive diminution, suicide risk, mental disorder flare-up, radiation risk if you're flying at high latitude. So that's just a heads up. We've got incoming space weather, an M4 and an M2, Coronal mass ejection coupling together and headed to Gaia. Here they come. Wait for it. And the boom will be here. Well, according to the powers that be here, right March 31st, uh, early in the morning, according to the models. So, we could see a significant event with KP6 or 7. It might even be higher. We'll just wait and see, and we'll report on it. Be safe. Hope you got something out of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Read the paper.